been held every year since 1974, and it aims to bring young Estonians from all over Australia together, primarily as a social event, but also to help maintain and reinforce their cultural links. Tony Porter was there for magazine. They're pretty little dolls, aren't they? And as you might guess by looking at them, they're obviously somebody's national costume. But can you guess whose? Well, you might be forgiven if you don't know, because these are, in fact, the national costume of Estonia. And before you start asking, where's Estonia? It's a very small country, slightly smaller than Tasmania, in fact, bordered by the Baltic Sea, the Soviet Union, of which it's now a part, and the Gulf of Finland, and culturally, they're linked most closely to the Finnish people across that stretch of water. Their population is very small, only about one and a half million. And here in Australia, it's equally small, only about 6,000 in the entire country. But they're a very active minority group, and at least once a year, they let their hair down and show that they're here to stay. young Estonians of Australia, almost all of them born here, few of them having ever seen their parents' homeland, yet all strongly nationalistic, fervently proud of the land and the people from which they are descended. they are probably more pragmatic, more realistic than their parents and grandparents can be about the chances of Estonia returning to its independent status. Each year in either Sydney, Melbourne or Adelaide, they present this show, part of the Estonian Youth Festival. It started 12 years ago as the young people's answer to the older, established and more traditional Estonian cultural groups. It's less formal, more casual, the young people's way of showing that they're proud of being Estonian, yet proud of being Australian too. Backstage, it doesn't take long to see the unusual position these people find themselves in. Descendants of Greek, Italian or English migrants can easily return to those countries and see them much as they were in their parents' days. Estonia has been under Soviet rule since 1940, so visits from Australia are infrequent and difficult. But you try and maintain ties, it's difficult because it's dying out, naturally enough, but we still, uh, we've got an Estonian volleyball side and basketball side which are all second generation and it's maintained through this way. As long as, as long as you can, will you remain proud of your Estonian background? Oh, most definitely, most definitely. With uh, the review that we've got on today, cultural festivals and that, we still do our utmost to keep up to that, that tradition, yes. It's not necessarily easy, but you're prepared to work at it. We are, as you can see. We've put a lot of work into this review, um, and we want to keep that culture within our grasp, yes. And every single one of us are very patriotic, and the, the large support comes from mainly our parents, because they're, they're very grateful that um, the sort of last generation, in the world, as it were, is upholding their traditions. They're very proud of us. This show is only a part of a three-day festival that also includes traditional Estonian events such as folk dancing and music. But for this evening, the emphasis is on fun and a little irreverence. Seventies or so, it really it's not embarrassing to be ethnic. Um, I'm really proud of it. I think I'm different. I think I've got something uh, special or something a little bit different that uh, I'm proud of. So. For the older folk who attend this cabaret show and dinner, it's more than mere pride. It's a political gesture, an attempt to keep alive the old ways, in the hope that the old Estonia might stay alive as well and one day regain its freedom. Well, the parents certainly push it. They push it because they believe they need to keep interest in the Estonian question politically alive. And the only way they can see they can do that is by keeping the culture alive outside of Estonia so that people, the younger generation, the first generation, now even some second generation uh, Estonians or Australian Estonians, American Estonians, are 
retain their interest and interest in the language, interest in the, uh, the culture, so that they'll also support any political efforts to gain freedom for Estonia. On stage, the old ways are being kept alive all right, but in an unlikely fashion. No traditional Estonian folk dance ever looked quite like this. I don't know that they're growing apart, but they're taking a second look at the culture, probably a more mature look, so that they can do a satire or, or um, change a, a traditional folk dance to be modern and punk, mm. but without losing the, the actual interest and the, the idea of, of what it really means. It's, uh, I don't believe the respect is diminished. No, I think that uh, younger people tend to have a, a more realistic attitude, but they still support the, uh, the feelings and the, uh, the hopes and aspirations of the older generation, certainly. I'll be back in a minute with a visiting Filipino singer and a roundup of the highlights of our ethnic media. Stay with us. <laughs> 